Hey everybody, this is Chad from Stick's Blog. I'm Stick, and today I got this cool, interesting uh, package in the mail, so uh, of course I know what it is, but I decided that I would go ahead and do a little video on it because I'm pretty excited about it. Um, now I'll just go ahead and tell you what's in this package. It is a Z-Pax Zero Pack in a size small. Uh, some of you may be saying, what, you got another backpack? You know, how many backpacks do you need? Um, well, I'll go ahead and tell you right now that there's three main backpacks that I do have. Uh, first off, I have a ULA Circuit. It's an awesome pack, I love it. Uh, but that has become my heavy load hauler, basically. Um, if my wife or my son goes with me on a backpacking trip, uh, especially if it's you know colder, uh, I'll carry that pack because I typically may carry more than what I would normally carry if I was by myself or just going with some friends. Um, other than that, if it's just me and I'm by myself and I'm going in the uh, colder months, I'll carry my Blast 30. Uh, I've made a lot of videos about it lately. Uh, it's an awesome pack. And now, uh, for summertime, of course, I carry less volume as well as less weight. So I wanted a smaller volume pack to do that. And my choice of pack was the Z-Pack Zero Pack in a size small. And just so you know, the size small is uh, approximately 36 liters or 1,500 cubic inches. Uh, the uh, Blast 30 pack that I have, I believe it's 50 liters and it's 3,000 cubic inches. And I can't remember right off the top of my head. The uh, circuit, I want to say it's like uh, maybe 4,200 or 4,600 cubic inches, something like that. Uh, so it's a uh, it's about a 65 liter pack, 68 liter pack, something like that. So. But anyway, real quick, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to go ahead and weigh it. While I'm opening it up, I will say that uh, with the items that I opted to get on this pack, I'm expecting it to come in right at 4 ounces. And there it is. It fits inside of a 1 gallon Ziploc bag. Um, so, before I do anything, before I unpack it, well, there's a few other things I have in here more little meaners and a, uh, some more tape. So real quick what I want to do is I want to just go ahead and put this on the scales and I want to weigh it and then I'll talk about it. So hang on a second. Okay, I think you can see that pretty well. Anyway, here's the backpack. Look at that, four ounces exactly. I mean, I was right on the money on that thing. And let's see here, we'll look at grams. 114 grams. So uh, hang on just a second and I'll uh, open it up and I'll show you some of the things that I got on it. Okay, so let's see here. Let's open it up. As you can tell, I did decide to get it in the white. Uh, I like the white color Cuban better than I do the other colors. And that's pretty much it right there. Okay, the only options I decided to add to this pack was I added the, uh, the center mesh uh, because I like to be able to put my wet stuff or things that I want to get to somewhat quickly uh, back there. And then I opted to add, actually, I thought it was just going to be four. I opted to add these four uh, loops, and the reason I wanted to do that is because I've got some bungee straps here, and these are actually going to stretch across, and they are actually going to uh, be a pad holder. So I can choose to, uh, to put these across and use it with a pad, uh, such as my sit light pad from Gossamer Gear or uh, maybe even a 1 8 inch pad I can fold it up a little better and put it on there or I can just completely choose not to use it and uh, just leave these little bungees off and be done with it. Now of course these bungees are going to add just a little bit of weight I think it might be 0.1 ounces for both extra bungees. There are a few other things that I'm going to add to this pack uh, one thing is going to be my water bottle holders, and uh, that's going to be another 0.1 ounces. And uh, I'm going to add the uh, straps to attach my uh, multi-pack. My multi-pack, because I'm going to be carrying my multi-pack in conjunction with this pack as well. So, uh, it looks like my total weight for the pack and all the components is going to be 4.2 ounces. Now one thing I don't have on here is a sternum strap. I chose not to get a sternum strap because if I feel like I want to use a sternum strap, I can take the one that's on my Blast 30, I can take it off and uh, use it. 
you know, so uh, I got that option. And I also don't have a hip belt. Now, I have been thinking about that, and I may decide, not, depending on how the pack does once it's loaded up and how it fits me, I may end up uh, making some kind of little just attachment uh, to put to just kind of stabilize the pack if I feel like the pack is moving around too much. Other than that, I'm not really worried about it. This stuff here that I have lined up on the table, this is going to be the stuff that I'm going to typically be carrying in this pack. Now, th it may be a little variation just depending on the trip and whatnot, um, but just to start with, um, this is a uh, pack liner I got from Gossamer Gear. I'm going to use that as a pack liner in the pack. And then, of course, I've got my Neo Air, and I'm debating actually opening it up and folding it and using it as a pack liner, and then going ahead and using this sit light pad that I got from Gossamer Gear on the outside of the pack. Um, this way, it would give me the option of when I come to a place I want to stop, I, I can actually take this pad off, uh, especially since I've got mitten hooks on the ends of these hooks. You know, just unstrap it real quick, take the pad off, use it as a little sit spot. And then when I get ready to go, just put it right back on the pack, no problem. However, one thing I'm thinking about is this doesn't offer a whole lot of protection under my Neo Air. And, you know, I don't really feel like I need it because I'm going to have ground sheets and everything, but it is nice to know that for the very same weight, both of these weigh 1.7 ounces each, for the very same weight, I could have almost a full length 1 8 inch pad versus a, you know, whatever this is, 12 inches wide or whatever. So I'm going to play around with that and see how things go. Uh, so, uh, But other than that, over here just real quick, I've got my uh, Hammock Gear 50 degree Fahrenheit uh, quilt. And I may actually take it out of the stuff sack and save 0.2 ounces and stuff it in the bottom of the pack. just depends on how well everything fits. Uh, I have some clothes here, some extra clothes. I have a Ziploc bag, which is going to be a wash bag slash pillow. I have my awesome ZebraLite H51 with a clip, leaving the headband behind. And then I've just got a, uh, a MSR pack towel that I can use for heavy duty things like uh, wiping down the tin of condensation or anything in there, uh, doing anything heavy duty. I use light load towels for the light duty stuff and I want something that's actually a real towel for the heavy duty stuff. And then I've got my food bag. And inside my food bag, of course, I just have some food that was previously from a previous trip that I didn't eat up. And I've got my cook kit, which is a Heineken uh, cook pot, and uh, it's an Esbit setup. And I've got my toothbrush in there, my bear line and all that stuff, and a spoon is all in there. But all of my smellables will be in here. And then I've got my Hexamed tent. Um, I do have a stuff snack for it, but I've got uh, to pick it back up. Uh, and then anyway, then I got some little things that are going to go outside the, the pack in the stuff sack, I mean in the uh, front pocket. Uh, I have my wind shirt, which is also going to double as rain protection. Now this is not going to keep me completely dry, and I understand that, I don't expect it to. But I'm planning on using this stuff in temperatures that are going to be up to 100 degrees during the day, maybe a little hotter, and the nights are going to be much, uh, much warmer than... I mean, they're probably going to be 70, 80 degree nights too, so I don't mind if I get a little bit wet. I do have, like I said, some dry clothes to wear for sleeping in. Uh, and then I have some sunglasses. I have my tent stakes, two liter platypus, my Frontier Pro filter, and some toilet paper. And this is more toilet paper than what I'll bring. It's just, I just went in the bathroom and grabbed some real quick so I could simulate toilet paper in there. Now there are some other things. I have lots of things in my little ditty bag here, but my ditty bag will actually be inside my multi-pack, which is attached to the front of me. So if there's some things here that you're saying, oh no, you're not bringing, you know, whatever, uh, I've got it covered. It's in my multi-pack. And this is just a quick look at uh, all of my gear. I know you can't tell anything like that, but I have a link and I'll post that link to this list. Yeah, I don't know how well you can see that, but that right there, 5.43, is what I've got my base pack weight down to. Uh-oh, hang on. So I've got my base pack weight down to 5.43 pounds, not counting, of course, food, uh, water, or um, fuel. Now, I will say I'm using Esbit fuel, and I'm planning on carrying one ounce of Esbit per day. 
that's uh, two tablets. That way I'll have one in the morning and one in the afternoon. So you figure for a four day trip, which is typically what I kind of get out on, uh, I'm looking at four ounces of fuel. Uh, food is just going to vary and then my water of course it'll vary too. I'll have a 32 ounce Gatorade bottle attached to uh, the pack strap and uh, I have the option I'll keep that full and drink out of. I'll also have the option of using my platy and this is a two liter platy I can fill it full too so I'll have up to three liters of this system. Now there are uh, two things that will vary as far as a solo trip for a little while. Um, one thing is I just recently got a uh, Sawyer Squeeze filter system so there's a good chance I might leave this behind and I want to I want to try out that Sawyer Squeeze system that's going to add probably about another 1 to 1.5 ounces of weight and also my stove system um, I've also I've recently agreed to uh, look at the uh, Flat Cat uh, Snow Leopard original system so once that comes in I probably won't be carrying that kit with me for a while and I'll be using the Snow Leopard uh, flat cat system. Okay, so here's the pack packed up. Um, as you can see, um, it's fairly streamlined. It's uh, not a whole lot of bulk. There's actually plenty of uh, plenty of room left at the top, so that uh, I could put more food or whatever inside of it if I needed to. And you can see how I put the uh, straps for the pad. And it's not going to, uh, it might shift around a little bit, but once it's on my back, it's, it didn't feel like it was unstable. However, I do notice that there's a tab here and a tab here. So if uh, I feel like that I want a little extra support, I can run a tab all the way up. So uh, I use mitten hooks to just attach to the clip over here. Um, I'll probably cut those mitten hooks just a little bit to make the opening a little bit bigger. It's kind of hard to get the mitten hooks in there. Um, another option would be to just tie a little piece of light line or something, make a little loop there, rather than trying to get it fed through those. Other than that, it feels pretty good. Uh, one other thing that I want to do uh, before I finish this video is I want to set my entire pack on my scale and see if it picks up. It should. There's my scale. And keep in mind, this is everything that you just saw me pack up in the pack. Uh, like I said, there are a few things that are not in the pack. You know, I would have to have my water inside the pack. Um, you know, the food varies. I'm not sure exactly how much food's in there, but there was a good amount of food in that bag. Easily uh, two and a half, three days worth of food in that bag. Um, and then there are a few other things like my phone, stuff like that. Plus, you would have to figure in my multi-pack. So, but I'm just wanting to put this on with everything that you saw. I can make it stand up there. Well, it won't quite balance. There it is, that's balanced. See, I'm not touching it, here's my hands. So I come up with eight pounds, 9.3 ounces. I don't think that's too bad. I'm pretty excited about it and I think this pack's gonna handle pretty well, but of course the only way I'll know is to get out there and use it. So, uh, I'm looking forward to getting me some trips up. Anyway, I appreciate you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, just post them below, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. So until then, I appreciate you for watching. Thanks.